Wow, it seems you really enjoyed the first video explaining the names of people residing in the Land of Light. Well, as I mentioned, there are still a lot of other heroes I forgot to mention. So, let's start explaining all Ultraman names part 2. This time in not chronological order and with much less known Ultra heroes. Father of Ultra That is just a title. True, he is the father of Ultraman Taro and stepfather of Ultraman Ace, but calling him Father of Ultra is just a way of showing respect. His real name is Ultraman Ken. In Western culture, Ken means handsome or born of fire, but in Japan it can mean strong and healthy. The word Ken itself can also be translated from Japanese as fist, sword, authority, intelligent and much more. Mother of Ultra. Just like with her husband, this is just a title given to her. Her real name is Ultra Woman Mari. In Latin, Mari means Star of the Sea, but it's also a French version of the name Maria, referencing the mother of Jesus Christ from the Bible. By the way, Ultron loves its religious iconography, and the reason for it is also really interesting. If you want me to explain that, ask me in the comments. Ultron Astra Astra, the brother of Leo, Astra is Latin for star, keeping with the theme started by his brother. Ultraman King Just like with father and mother of Ultra, he isn't a literal king. It's just a title given to him, thanks to him being one of the oldest and most powerful Ultraman in history. And according to the Ultra Super Legends manga, his real name is Pico, which is Spanish for tiny. That name is probably a play on the big burly guy named something small and cutesy trope, but it's also not canon to the main continuity, so here I'm mentioning him more as just a trivia. Ultra Woman Julian. Julian! Julian with two L's doesn't mean anything from what I can see, but Julian with one L means youthful, downy bearded and sky father. I think the first definition is the one that matches the first main series female Ultra. Ultraman Janias. His name I feel is a stylization of the western named John. It will make sense with Janius often being shortened to Ultraman Joe. The origin of the name comes from Hebrew and means God will add. Ultraman Scott, Chuck and Ultraman Beth are all named after their human hosts. Scott is Latin for man with the shield, Chuck comes from German Charles and means free man and Beth comes from Elizabeth and in Hebrew means God is my oath. Ultraman Elek Elek is Greek and means defender of man. Ultraman Lotto Lotto has its origins in languages of Pacific Islands and means heart. Ultra woman Amia. Amia comes from Latin and it can mean beloved. Andros Melos. It's not technically a name, but a title taken by many characters. The current owner of the title of Andros Melos belongs to a hero named Benoit, which is Latin and means blessed. While the title of Andros Melos itself may come from the word Andromeda, Andros Melos, Andromedas. Uh... Ultraman Great. His name may be a reference to him being 10 meters taller than other Ultraman in the franchise, standing at 16 meters tall. Ultraman Power. I have no idea. Maybe the production name just chose a cool sounding English word. Ultraman Zev. His name is a combination of the words Zenith, which is the highest point of something, and Earth. Ultra Nyan. Nyan is a Japanese onomatopoeia for the sound that cat makes. Oh. Ultraman Boy. As silly as it sounds, the name is probably rather self-explanatory. Ultraman Picked. As we explained earlier, while talking about Ultraman King, Picto means small. Ultraman Nice. Nice comes from Latin and actually used to mean ignorant and stupid. I know that the designers probably thought of the character with the more modern positive meaning to the term, but with him being a more comedic Ultraman, that's always the butt of the joke, maybe they knew about the old-timey definition. Ultraman Kyotaka. Kyotaka can have many means, like pure, clear, noble. This ultra hero was created for the sake of promotion. Ultraman Agu. As revealed in the 16th episode of Ultraman Gaia, 
Agul is a combination of the words aggressive, agreement and evil. But I personally see some inspiration from Latin aqua, since this Ultraman is the embodiment of water, as Ultraman Gaia was embodiment of Earth. Neos comes from the word Neo, which means new. Ultraman Hoto, Moto and Kito are all mascots of Indemitsu Kosan Oil Company. Hoto means side of relief, Moto means motion or to depend on, this word has a lot of meanings in Japanese, and Kito means postage stamp, but also most likely and sternly. I really don't know why I included these guys in the video. <laughs> Ultraman Robin. This sanctioned by Tsubaraya wrestler's character's name comes from the nickname for Robert. The prefix Ro means fame, birth means bright. Maybe it's also a reference to the Robin birds with the red coloring. Ultra 721. According to the website n-78.gp, this version of Ultra 7 is named that way because he's the 21st Ultra Warrior and he came to Earth during the 21st century. Justice! Justice comes from the Old English Justice and means administration of law. Legend! Legend, just like his name suggests, is a hero for ancient stories, told by the natives of planet Kiyashi. Ultraman Zeno is named after the noble gas of the same name. Ultraman Reboot. Reboot is Malaysian for Storm. His non-Japanese name is caused by him being origin created for a Malaysian kids cartoon named Upin and Ipin. Ginga Victory. It's just a combination of their names, Ultraman Ginga and Ultraman Victory. Ultra Woman Sora. Sora is Japanese for sky, space, it also has a lot of meanings. Ultraman Rube and Ultraman Rube are combinations of the names of their components. Ultraman F. She comes from the novel of the same name. The F in her name means female and Fuji. It can also be referenced to her being the final project of man-made giant soldiers. And yes, Ultraman F is a woman. She is just called Ultraman, since in this continuity human never met a female Ultra. Ultraman Dual, also a protagonist of the novel of the same name. His name refers to the fact that there is actually two Ultraman duels who are identical. Navigail is an Ultra from the Ultraman Duel novel. His original name is Yunlo, with Navigail being the name given to him by the Enclave. Originally known, but that site used it to refer to him. But later in the sequel novel, it became the name he primarily answered to. Later, he is known as Ultraman Yunlo by the people of Earth. Ultra Saint Tear is an Ultra who appeared in Ultraman Duel. She is the primary referred to as Tear, which is derived from the translation of her real name, which to Earthlings comes to mean the one who tells tears. Ultraman Reiga. This fusion's name comes from the combination of Japanese New Era Reiwa, which means beautiful harmony, and Taiga. Ultraman Fidis. I have no idea. Only thing Wiktionary is giving me is it's is that it's Latin for filare, which means to spin. Ultraman Neko. This Ultra exists only as a trademark for clothes, stationery, etc. And his name comes from Neko, which is Japanese for cat. And let's finish it off where we started. Ultraman from the Shin movie. I already explained his name with the name of the first Ultraman. But the Shin movie introduces the concept of his true name being Lipach. Lipach comes from Lipia, a genus of plant in Verbana family. Named after Augustus Lippi, a French botanist, their flowers symbolize bonds, honesty and understanding, the things Ultramen always stand for. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, subscribe and if you reach a thousand views again, I will work on the video explaining the names of all the Dark Ultramen. So, bye.